which of the new Callaway Apex irons is going to suit my game the best? We're here at the Belfry to find out. Right, let's get five or six with yours. How many rounds have you got in the bag with these? I played four rounds with them at the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for that. I've had some combo sets before where it felt like the short irons were too far from the long irons. Yeah. So I ended up with a big gap in the middle. But like, I don't know if it's just better to have one iron through, then you don't have that gap. Yeah, I mean, there's arguments both sides. We're like, literally just talking about it just now, actually, because a lot of us have thought about comboing these, and then I've just gone straight through with, with one, with one CB. Um, there's benefits to it. If the ball speeds match up, then it's quite good. But like, let's say if you try, we'll try all three seven irons in a minute. If you get extremely different ball speeds, so like a five miles an hour ball speed between pro and CB, no matter what loft cranking I do, it's going to have a little bit of yeah. jump to it. So it might have what happened in the past with you. Obviously, what has happened here, those products are probably quite similar in ball speed when you did your fitting, meaning that you can just combo and go nuts with them. Yeah, so. what have we got here? So that is Apex Pro, Pro. Same standard shaft. length, two flat, same shaft as you're currently using. And this is going to be just a sort of side by side, right? So without changing too much straight away, basically we take that head off, put ours on. So put undersized grips on these as well, on like this. Yeah, I have the world's smallest hands, yeah. right. according to my coach. How are you meant to grip the club with those? Basically, what it says. Nice. <laughs> that was definitely towing. Yeah. My club path's gone two degrees more right with these irons. Oh. So they're straight in. Yeah, you've gone, <laughs> I was just looking at that, you've gone one and a half degrees into out. Yeah, uh, now you're that, nearly at four. Then your club face is half a degree shut with your tight list, two shut with Callaway. So it's just more swing. You're going more that way and more closed. This feels slightly heavier. Huh? Which is weird because it's the same shaft, isn't it? Yeah. You've got a much lighter grip on yours. True. You see there is less shaft as well. And then I'm not sure what the sort of tungsten tech story is in there, but we're definitely not sure about a bit of tungsten in Apex Pro. <laughs> right, that's cool. Use the same shaft for a little bit here. So now we're going to test uh, CB and MB. But there, I mean, yeah, so ball speed's one mile an hour slower than your current. Um, basically, you're just hitting ours higher with a little bit less spin. So um, carry distance is unaffected, with about 0.8 of a yard. You're hitting the ball four feet higher with the, the Callaway, and then the landing angle's nearly a degree steeper. So yeah, pretty much what we expect there. Here's the CB. So this is one degree weaker. So it's mm -hmm. maybe half a club off of your current. So in terms of tech differences, obviously we've still got the tungsten on the back. And visually they look yeah. quite similar, but on the inside they're not. Yeah, so there's a tiny bit of tungsten in the um, in the toe of CB. Very different sort of setup to Apex Pro there. Um, as we go through the series, so Apex Pro is going to have the most tech into it, like even the longer irons are full of microspheres, so three, four, and five iron, depending on how deep in the bag you would go, you'll have a little bit more help in the face there. So it just makes it feel a little bit more punchy, a bit more ball speed, just more consistent across the face. And then when you jump from five iron down to six, and then that's that's for every single one as well. Uh, as you go down, you'll just get the 1025 face. So it's okay. just more spin and control based. So ideally this iron here is all about dispersion and getting most out of it, right? So oh, you mentioned there you haven't really looked at distance. Would you say there's like a cut off point in terms of speed that you've seen that people kind of move into these? Because obviously these are more about precision. So is there yeah, a certain so speed where you think? Yeah, I'd say when you start getting near that kind of 85, 90 mile an hour club head speed, mm -hmm. it, it can even be south of that, it just depends on the golfer. But there is a, there is a point where you think, hang on a minute, I've kind of maximized my potential on distance. Unless we put them into a paradigm or something, they can hit it 20, yeah. 30 yards further. But a lot of people, when we find they get into the more serious clubs and we come out of those like game enjoyment clubs, we find ourselves in these. That golf is usually a bit more of an educated golfer and they just want to hit greens. They know how far they hit the ball. They just need our help to get them to hit it more consistently. Yeah. So, no, for me, I think, you know, you're talking about short irons there, that's your scoring zone. Mm -hmm. For me, that is pivotal. I'm not saying it's any more important than the long irons, but when you're closer to the green, you're looking to get, you get up there, knock it close, you know, lower scores, shorter putts. So if you can knock it closer with the proper iron, then that's when we unlock more fun and lower scores on the course. So 
vitally important on the short irons. So I think we'll today we'll base off what you really would want to see in that kind of, mm -hmm. you know, we're looking at sort of 152, 153 carry with seven iron so far. Once we're in that zone, once we're definitely thinking about making birdie, um, I think that's where we base that. And then we'll have a look at some longer irons if you want to add a little bit more help, even if it's just visually. This looks so yeah. similar to that, to the pro. Maybe the top line's a fraction thinner and that's yeah. about it. We basically, it's it's kind of gradual as you go through. So as you try each iron this morning, you're going to see slightly thinner top line as you go. You're going to see marginally less offset and then you're just going to get a little bit more turf interaction help. Why do I do this in fittings? I hit the small clubs really good and then get scared when I get on the course with them. Anything has happened to your swing there since you've hit CB. Has anything consciously changed? Because no. something's quite a bit, big change. You're angle of attack. So you're five down on tight list, three and a half on pro, and then two down on CB. So you're shallowed out here. Path hasn't changed, just attack. So you're actually hitting one degree weaker iron, the same distance as the other two. Um, difference here is you're hitting it five feet higher, spinning it more. And actually you've improved your downrange dispersion. And that is a standard lie, CB. I've not flattened that at all. So I actually don't what? think, Sorry. I think, I think the movement on the ball is coming from slightly flatter toe strikes. It's just a yes. sort of first look, but. They felt, that last one felt like it went a bit left. So what's interesting is when we've gone flatter, your spin rate on both the irons flat was five, 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 six. You're a six, four with a standard lie. Now it's only one degree difference. That one degree is- Obviously this club, surely this head will spin more as well. One degree there. Yeah. And what's interesting is your ball speed. So here's your current iron at 108.4. 107.6 is Apex Pro, you're at 109 with CV at a week off. That literally makes no sense. You're currently using. It's because you've shallowed out and you're presenting basically less loft, you're covering the shot a bit better. Science. The yeah, question we get a lot is, you know, what happens if I go to a golf pro and there? Somebody who's like 10 degrees across the ball, they're like, what if I go 10 degrees the other way? And I'm like, or I say, call me if you forget how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be ideal. <laughs> Get on YouTube, mate. <laughs> um, it, it doesn't change it that much. It's going to change your tendency. So all we found out by you shallowing out a little bit in terms of path, yeah, just getting a little bit of a toe strike in. And then if I give you a toe down iron, you are going to shape the ball a little bit more. I've seen people who are missing greens to the left, hitting it out of the toe. So getting that sweepy shot, I've actually uprighted them and put them in at two degrees upright to normalize the strike, up the spin and stop the movement on the ball. And yeah. That's pretty much what we're seeing here. Right. Because I was just trying me. to hit them too hard. I was like, ah, I've got a blade. <laughs> <laughs> Should I, I not told you? Must be in the club. Feels like there's a little bit more shape as well on this um, on this iron. So the spin rate's down 400 revs. So again, that shape is coming in mm -hmm. because of the spin rate reduction. So she's looking for a little bit of trouble. Oh. A little bit high on the that was not good. <laughs> Just gone CBMB there, so again, less offset, thinner top line, thinner sole, and then slightly less leading edge wear there. The ball speed's dropped five miles an hour, mm -hmm. at the same. So you know we're talking about going weaker one degree, we're seeing faster ball speed from a weaker loft. So when we just change the product at the same loft, it dropped off, so your carry dropped there by seven yards. Blades are out, guys. That's where we're at. So for me, performance-wise off the seven iron, CB is the play, mm -hmm. for sure. So what I'd like to do is a bit of testing with CB. Um, I've bought a bunch of shafts that we didn't have last time. We didn't get a chance to try. So let's try those today. You've gone into AMT Black S3. I mean, what they're trying to do there as well, you know, you've got a combo in the irons. These shafts, I'm not sure if it was explained or anything, but these will get lighter as you go through. So oh, seven okay. iron, seven, eight, nine pitch will all be the same weight, but then six, five, four, you'll drop out three to four grams per shaft. So before you even put a head on, they're just trying to improve your launch condition, which so I like these shafts, but let's just give you a bit of a test with some others. Mm -hmm. Let's oh. see, I've got a few options here. Um, some light, some heavy, let's just see. Um, you know, we've already been surprised a little bit by playing week aloft, getting that more spin on the ball by a crazy amount and faster speed. So let's just see what we can learn from shaft weight. I think we might see some cool stuff here. 
Let's give this guy a try. These are all standard length as well, not adjusted. Yeah. At all, right? It's in. Compared to when you were hitting over the previous shaft, looking at the average, that was four feet higher. But you have just been hitting MB, so that was ten, 10 feet higher than that. So, <laughs> so yeah, compared Ooh, to your last five shots, you would have seen a bit of vertical on there. That didn't. That was a thin. What punch you want? It's interesting how in standard lie, you're moving the ball from the right to left a lot less. There's a lot less shape on the ball with CB. So that was 110 grams, that one. It was a bit heavier, a bit stiffer. Mm -hmm. um, so I was just looking at stability there. If I gave you more weight, like a heavier hammer to throw at the ball, I just want to see what happens. Uh, just jumped around a bit. First drop, ball speed went up. Then it came down, then it went up a bit, and then it down a little bit again. So for me, when I see ball speed range between 110 miles an hour and 102, so that's eight miles an hour, that's, that's basically, that's like three clubs in your bag, right? Because we want to see the ball speed jump. So if I gave you a seven iron that went carry wise either 152 or 166 that's not much fun on the golf course right? I mean, you're trying to call a shot up let's say you play somewhere like sawgrass and you you know you pretty much want to get the ball onto that green and sit it down if i give you i'll give you 14 yards of dispersion north to south it's going to be quite tough to choose from so so that shot out i'm going to use that one take 14 yards might have nailed it first time here but let's see Nice. This feels significantly lighter. Okay. Yeah, interesting enough with your angle of attack. So now you've hit three versions of CB, so three different shafts. Angle of attack is exactly the same. So you're just shallowing out with this iron for some reason. So you're swinging more from the inside. I mean, we're at seven average there. I think that's because the shaft's too light. That was 95 grams. Yeah, that felt too light. Very nice. I pulled it, but the strike felt good. They feel great, but they're starting here and finishing here. <laughs> it's really starting right and then really turning. Yeah. Here. What colour are we on? So that is the lime green, so this one here. Just, uh, but then first shaft, right there. Oh. So I compare that to, so the shaft, you've got that AMT black, the one I quite like. Is there. So it's just a bit more shape on the ball with oh, that yeah. shaft but the one you're currently in yeah a little bit blocky there um, if we took that out that's being a bit mean but there is three very consistent shafts but then a little bit north to south yeah. what i like most about the shaft you're currently using with the cb head is north to south dispersion yeah. you're literally hitting that number every time for me that's that's boring golf right there's no fireworks there i quite like that we'd like boring don't you boring's do good, boring right? just pull the club hit the number make the putt Let's go back into the shaft you're currently in. Just get to a few more in CB, but so far, you know, you're landing those literally on top of each other. So all we have to do is put CB in. Now our lie angle compared to your current standard, which I believe is 63 and then you're down to 61. Mm -hmm. Our standard lie is 62. Okay. So you're only one degree upright than what you're currently using. Makes sense. Put that quarter inch of shaft length back on. Yeah, it was good. It feels easy to hit this. It's it's awesome how your ball speed's so much higher than a stronger lofted iron. Mm. It don't make any sense. It's just angle of attack. You're, you're just more suited to the bounce and the leading edge of that iron. <laughs> leading edge, I told you. I told you, it's my soul theory. It's the new soul design. It's, the new, it's, the new, it's that new yeah, dynamic it soul we put on there. It's the new Exactly. Soul width. It's half of the soul. It's hugely important, right? I mean, all we're doing here is, um, you know, hitting pieces of metal into the ground effectively, right? So with your attack angle path, if I give you something too big with too much offset, you're going to hit it very, very low, very stingy shots, right? At your club head speed. Let's we flip it over and you say, look, I just want to get the ball in the air. I need help launching. Fair enough. We'll pack offset in there. We'll flatten the bounce off on the iron mm. and we'll make the head slightly larger. And that will help get it up. And then like we love to do, we'll pack it full of tungsten. How do you feel about the height? Good. I really like them. Your, your current, uh, your landing angle, so your descent angle, 
You're 44 and a half on your current irons. You're 47 with this one. Yeah, I'd say if anything, one. I've been hitting it a bit low, yeah. which has never happened before in my life. So with, with spin up, full speed up, height and landing angle all improved, it's a pretty dangerous iron. Right?